replacing this uh, flyback transformer that we got out of the microwave to make sparks. We uh, have already done some pre-tests. We haven't been able to get extremely high. Don't do that yet. Uh, you can hear from the zapping there. I already got shocked with this. You feel it through your entire body, and that was just with my hand on it. It was like getting shocked with an electric fence, except for it lasted longer. It is not pleasant. So anyways, let's go and do some sparks. Okay, well, can you be a little more stable with it? Whoa, the pole is vibrating. I know. Alright, I've been messing around with this thing again. Um, I have gotten some strange results from this now. You plug it in. You can hear this strange buzzing noise. Now I'm going to take these, these needle nose pliers. And then I'm going to pick up this screw. As you can see here, there's an intense magnetic field uh, occurring around this. When I put this near the uh, iron core here, it magnetizes the pliers and allows me to mess with this uh, without actual. Well, I have to touch it, but it just kind of sticks to it. But obviously, I can't pull it off because the magnetism on the shell is stronger than this. You can also see sometimes it will vibrate by itself. See? If you touch the metal piece up to here, you can really tell that it's vibrating the metal. Especially right in the center here. The more in the center you get, the stronger the current's going to be. I was messing around with this thing. Then if I figured out, I could do this. Becomes an oscillator. Oh, uh, whatever you're holding becomes an oscillator and starts vibrating really fast. It's rather strange. So the last time I had this carbon brush attached to this diode, I'm going to use this for electrolysis, which you'll see me do. Alright, uh, for some reason, it only, uh, it only sparks like that when I do it to the, uh, to the, uh, what do you call it, carbon brush, um, when it's got the diode on, I'll, I really have no idea why. And somehow it's transferring over to the other one, if you can see that. I haven't the slightest clue how to do it, and the voltage seems to have increased a lot. We're getting these purple And it seems to be affecting the lower wire there too. Sometimes anyways. Whoa. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if this is like acting like a capacitor or something. It, it is acting very strange. Uh, never mind. I've gotten it to do that on both of them now. down on this enough for it to work. Oh, there we go. I felt it through felt a shock through my glove already.
I don't seem to be doing that anymore. Okay, now I'm getting something very strange. It's conducting into the ground. Conducting right into the stone there. See those little sparks there? I'll conduct the other one of these. But, uh, it'll shoot off between two carbon brushes and then straight back into the ground at the tip of the pliers there. Don't know if you can see that. Hooked it up to this electrolysis. Oh, I hooked it up to this, so it should be performing electrolysis right now. Um. I seem to be getting some violent sparks coming off of here. You know, it takes a bit long to... Something happened. 